Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Clarissa. And I'm Jenna. Today, we're here to tell you the story of our invention, artificial skin. Let me take you back to the start. How exactly did we get from this to now? Jenna, do you remember when we met? Yes, of course. We met in kindergarten, and we have been friends for more than 13 years. Yeah, and this is a picture of us from when we were young. In primary school, we started to mess around and make our own things. In this picture, you see us making or trying to make our own pens. And we got this idea because of a TV show we watched, which has something to do with using blueberry juice and fruit juices to make natural ink. Yes, we were so excited after watching a TV show. We brought this idea back to school and tried it. And what you can see here, it was a mess. And this wasn't the only mess we made. I have memories of us making lotions and perfumes and other useful products. Fast forward to secondary school. In Form 1, we met Dr. Albert Jer, a scientist in residence at our school. At that time, he was working on a project called Algae Facial Mask, and he asked us if we wanted to be a part of that. Being the beauty conscious girls that we are, of course, we jumped at this opportunity. We did some simple experiments and learned two major things, skin anatomy and skin care. The turning point came in 2015. In the summer of 2015, there was a powder explosion at a Taiwan water park. This incident caused many deaths and injuries, and a lot of victims suffered from a large area of skin loss. So we started to think, we already had the skincare product on our hands. Was there a way we could modify and change that into something that could help the victims? We tried to modify our facial mask into an artificial skin. So, what is an artificial skin? In cases of large area skin loss, artificial skin can serve as a barrier layer to protect the wound and thus induce regeneration of the dermis, which is the second layer of our skin. Okay, so there is actually a huge demand for artificial skin. The evidence, let's look at some statistics. In 2016, there were nearly 500,000 skin burn cases in the US alone. And these skin burn cases cost more than 200,000 US dollars to treat successfully. Besides, many patients suffer from large area of skin loss due to other diseases, such as diabetes, eczema, or sunburn. With this in mind, we start to uh, modify our facial mask into an artificial skin. To, be, to begin with our project, the first thing we need to do is to determine the ingredients that is needed to have in our formula. And luckily, we got 15 ingredients from our, our facial mask, which each has, an, uh, has its own unique properties that is beneficial to our skin. Then, we narrow down the 15 ingredients to two ingredients, which is sodium alginate and santan gum. Sodium alginate is extracted from a cell wall of brown seaweed and santan gum is a sugar derived typically from corn and wheat. Well, with this in mind, we started to design our artificial skin. And our design has a middle layer, a top layer, and a bottom layer. The middle layer is the artificial skin, and is made of sodium alginate and santan gum. The top layer is a waterproof layer, and the bottom layer, oh, we have a PowerPoint back. Yeah, and the bottom layer is a calcium chloride layer. And going back, Let's look at the definition of artificial skin. In cases of large areas of skin loss, our artificial skin can serve as a barrier layer to protect the wound and thus induce regeneration of the dermis. We have also, after doing some research, we came up with, um, with some criteria of a good artificial skin. Well, Clarissa, can you name a few? Yes, it should be a homogeneous hydrogel and not too adhesive to the wound. It should also be waterproof and have the ability to prevent the entry of microorganisms and inhibit microbial growth. Finally, it should keep the wound moisturized and absorb fluids effectively. And yeah, we're here. And putting all, um, all these seven let letters together, and we have HAPPIA. Yeah, H-A-P-P-I-N-A. And as mentioned, this is a design of our artificial skin. It has an artificial skin layer, a waterproof layer, and a calcium chloride layer. Well, the first criteria of our artificial skin is a homogeneous hydrogel. And this criteria is actually fulfilled by our two ingredients, sodium alginate and sansan gum. 
A homogeneous hydrogel is a gel that has absorbed a lot of water and does not have any precipitations. Sodium alginate can immobilize water to form a hydrogel, and xanthan gum can suspend particles, preventing the precipitation of ingredients. After the gel is formed, we found that the gel is sticky, and when thinking of the application, it would be difficult and uncomfortable for the user to remove it from the wood. Therefore, we decided to apply 4% calcium chloride solution onto the surface of the gel, and due to some chemical bonding, adhesiveness of our artificial skin is reduced. We have also developed a waterproof layer. This waterproof layer can help to prevent um, irritation caused by bacteria in water. So now that we've introduced you to the basic principles of our artificial skin, we'll have a demonstration to show you how it's actually made. Thank you. So, we can start. And as mentioned, the ingredients we use are sodium alginate and xanthan gum, and these uh, are the ingredients. First, sodium alginate and xanthan gum powder are mixed together with boiling water until a homogeneous hydrogel is formed, which is this one. And due to time constraints, we've already prepared the gel. Jenna will now demonstrate the remaining steps. The sodium alginate and xanthan gum solution is poured into a mold. And the one we're using here is made from the 3D printer at our school. And after that, the gel is smoothed out. And this is to prevent any bumps or bubbles from forming in the final product. And after you're satisfied with that, calcium chloride can be added. And as mentioned, this reduces adhesiveness. After that, the artificial skin can be cut out from the mold. And that is our product. Jen is now flipping it to the other side to apply more calcium chloride. Yeah, so that's our artificial skin, and we'll put it aside for now. We now demonstrate making the waterproof layer. The waterproof layer is made using sodium alginate and hydrochloric acid, and due to time constraints, we've already prepared the solution. <laughs> the sodium alginate solution is poured into a petri dish. This is the Petri dish. And at this point, you have to make sure you're being very careful because you don't want any bubbles and bumps from forming. And after that is done, you can add the hydrochloric acid. And that is the procedure of a waterproof layer, but that actually has to, we have to actually wait five minutes for that to form. And we have a finished product here for you to see. And this is our artificial skin with a waterproof layer. Uh, the artificial skin is the gel-like thing there, and the waterproof layer is on top. And now we're also distributing samples for you to take a closer look at. So now we've in, we'll continue to investigate its properties. Now we're on to P, preventing the entry of microorganisms. Our test results show this ability. As you can see, there are no black and white spots, which are the microbial colonies on the area covered by the artificial skin. We have also tried adding licorice root extract. This Chinese herb, gum chou, has anti-inflammatory effect and encourages the skin to create its own strengthening connective tissue. With, because of the use of sand gum in our formula, no precipitate was formed. 
We have also tested the ability to inhibit microbial growth. After testing, we found that the artificial skin with licorice root extract has this ability. We have also tested the ability to, to absorb um, to, of the fluid absorption ability of our artificial skin. After testing, we found that our artificial skin has a strong fluid absorption. It is essential for our artificial skin to have a strong fluid absorption to prevent infection caused by the exudate from the wound. And these are the major points of our investigation. If we were to market our product, how exactly would we present it? Well, we hope that it can be packed and mass produced in powder form. This will extend the shelf life of our product and allow easy transportation. As you can see from our demonstration, the production procedures of our artificial skin is very easy. So when required, it can be freshly prepared quickly and without difficulty. This can allow the artificial skin to be tailor-made to accommodate to each user's needs. Well, we've been going on and on about the abilities, properties, and production procedures of our artificial skin. So how exactly is it different from those on the market right now? Well, our artificial skin has several benefits. First, it is made from natural basic ingredients. It is much more biodegradable and biocompatible than the existing ones. So it, can cause, it will cause minimal harm to the environment after disposal. Secondly, because of the use of San Van Gamena formula, it allows the addition of extra ingredients. It opens up the possibility of adding extra ingredients such as silicon dimethicone or other Chinese herbs that is beneficial to our skin and or wound healing. And the most important aspect is of course cost. Our product is highly cost effective with each meter square only cost 16 Hong Kong dollars. It can be easily mass produced. With this project, we've joined several local, national and international competitions. We've also brought our project to places like Shanghai and Switzerland, and we've met a lot of people who've given us valuable opinions. From their suggestions, we have the following ideas for further development. First, we hope to investigate more properties of our artificial skin, such as the air permeability. We we'll also like to develop abilities such as drug delivery. Finally, we hope to incorporate stem cells and acellular dermis, so that our artificial skin can fully replace a damaged dermis. Yes, we still have a long way to go. From ideas into actions, dream into reality, and the impossible into possible. Ladies and gentlemen, dare, dare to believe, believe and prepare, prepare to achieve. achieve. Thank you. Thank you.